Okay, um, in this video I'll be taking the concept of derivative and applying the concept in vector calculus. Okay, uh, we've have uh, given a basic introduction of what vector functions are, and we we also plot, we also uh, you know we we saw the plot of two vector functions. Yeah, uh, and now we're gonna talk about the derivatives of vector functions. Okay. So uh, just take the vector function again. Let me take in two dimensions. Okay, f and g, right? A vector function. Now we know about derivatives, and you can you can actually differentiate functions with respect to the variable t here. And these components, these guys want to be differentiated individually. Okay, so when you differentiate this function. You you perform individual differentiation for the component functions. Okay, so the derivative of the vector function is simply uh, you know you you just independently differentiate the first component function and you differentiate the second component function. These operations would be independent of each other. Okay, uh, for example. Let me say I have um, a function like so, 2 cos t and uh, sin t. So the derivative here would simply be negative to sin t. Okay, I differentiated the first component and then I differentiate the second component to get a cos. Okay, independent operations. Now this is this is one. Uh, vector. Let me say I have another vector. Let me call this r1 t, and I have another vector r2 t. And let's say these vectors are in the sum. Okay, and I want to differentiate that. I want to differentiate r1 plus r2. That is simply r1, the derivative of that, plus the derivative of r2. Okay, the addition rule, same as what we did in single variable calculus okay when when we're not talking about vectors okay if they're in the product and what do you mean by product it it has to be dot product here and i have to find out the derivative okay the rule remains the same it's just that you have the dot products okay so the first function as it is or i've just just done the other way around no problem the first function as it is the derivative of the second function but here it is the dot product okay and you add to that the derivative of the uh, of the first function and the second function as it is okay but there th that's a dot product there if i have a cross product no problems the rule is the same but instead of the dots there just put crosses there okay so you have cross products here All right. This is the first time you can see that. So, uh, so, so I just put the dot product and the cross product here. The rule is the same. Okay. Uh, when we're talking about two functions, the product of two functions, the derivative would be the first function as it is, derivative of the second plus the second as it is, derivative of the first. Okay. Just the same thing, but here we have the dot product or the cross product. And correspondingly, on the RHS, you have the cross and the dot products. Okay, so those are the basic rules um, of um, differentiation, or, you know, differentiating vector functions. Right, uh, so I took this example here. I had uh, 2 sine t and cos t. Okay, let me just take this further. So the function is 2 cos t and sine t. Okay, the function is um, 2 cos t and sine t. Okay, those are the individual component functions. Uh, if I actually um, find out um, 2 cos t, if I square and add these, okay, this would be uh, this would give you 4 cos squared t plus sine squared t. Uh, what if I, what if I divide this thing by a 4? Okay, want to divide this. The first term by four will give you then. We give you one, right? And this thing, this whole thing, uh, looks like an ellipse to me, isn't it? Right? 
So this is an ellipse, the equation of an ellipse, you can call this one. Okay. And um if 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 you take any value of t, let's take t equals to zero. Then r of zero would be something like two comma zero. Okay. Let's just plot that. Okay. Two comma zero, there it goes. Um I'll take another color. Okay. All right. What about uh, what about um, t equals to pi by two? You get um, a zero. Okay, a pi by two. You get a zero and a one. Okay, so zero and one goes there. So that's the point. Okay. So basically, um, okay. Let me just make it there. Okay. So the ellipse would go like that. Okay, it's an ellipse. And these are the individual position vectors for two points. I've taken it for two points. You can take as many points as you want. Let's say we take two more points. And now what is the derivative? I'm going to tell you the graphical representation. I told you that the derivative, um, when you talked about single variable calculus, the derivative is simply the tangent. So here, if I talk about this point, then the derivative will represent this tangent. In case of this point, it will represent this tangent, and so on. So this is your curve, which you get by the vector equation. And um, the derivative of the vector function will give you the tangent at a particular point to the curve. Okay, That's um, the graphical representation of the derivative. And those are the rules of differentiating vector functions. Okay, so that's how you find out the derivative of a vector function. In case you have, um, let's say you have RT being equal to FT, GT, HT. Okay. Again, if you want, oh, if you want to find out the derivative, you you differentiate independently. Okay, f dash t, g dash t, and h dash t. Okay, one more thing. Um, uh, if I have a function like that, I have r dash t over um the modulus or sorry the magnitude of r dash t. What is that? Uh, isn't this a unit fun? It is a unit vector, right? I forget about functions for now. Uh, you know, if I have a u vector over the magnitude of u vector, it'll give you u cap, which is a unit vector. So similarly here, you have the unit, but it it is now a function, right? So it is r dash t, the unit vector, and let me call this t of t, because isn't this the tangent, right? So t of t is giving you the direction of the tangent since the magnitude is 1 because it's a unit vector. So I'll call this t of t and we'll see how we use this. Okay.